Hi, it's Simon. Welcome back to Better Creating and part two of my Notion from Scratch habit tracker build along. So pretty likely you have come to this video from the previous part, but if not, you can either go check that out first and then come back here or just stick around because either way, this video is a powerful standalone tutorial on how to create accessible and beautiful reporting views for your Notion databases using CONCAT formulas. Sound technical? It's actually pretty easy to learn, and I promise you it transforms how you use your Notion setup and how you can make gallery views really powerful reporting views. They look like this, automatically updating reports for your most important information. So in this video, we'll create these habit tracker progress reports, create a capture dashboard on the home screen, and we'll also link the habit tracker to a goal setting database to monitor it. As always, if you'd rather, you can simply download everything in this build as part of one of my Notion Live OS templates, including the new version of my simplified Notion system, a minimal digital planner inspired by the joy of paper planners. Now, before we get building, I'm super excited that this build will be part of my Notion from Scratch series, as we're currently calling it, a complete collection of Notion build tutorials that help you learn the fundamentals of Notion whilst building an element of your Notion second brain productivity system with me step by step. The idea is that each section can be followed as a standalone build or as part of a full course. You can even let me know what you'd like to see included and covered in the comments. And in fact, what I should call it, the big Notion build along, Notion simplified, I, it doesn't really matter. Hashtag build in public, people. That's what this is about. Okay, so in the first part of the video, we built this, the uh, system menu uh, inside our kind of main LifeOS dashboard, ready to go. We then created a new page and created our habit tracker with this new uh, option to make it something a default. We created our log uh, and the way we calculate habits and our targets for those habits. And we created a progress bar along with this habits reporting view. Let's now continue, if I jump to the one I made earlier, we're gonna do this final section here, which is CONCAT reports that creates these lovely views here. And even if I add a property here and show you that, we can even link it to a goals setting system if you have that or want to build your own. Okay, let's create those CONCAT reports next. So add a new box and click on formula. And we're gonna call this CONCAT report. Now we're going to put in a CONCAT formula here. So what we want to get back is the log and the total target in the text format. So CONCAT will take the contents of two different columns into a new one and it can be combined with text. We're gonna go in and we're gonna go CONCAT brackets. Then I wanna go a reference to the log. So let's go up to our emojis and I'm gonna put in tick and I'm gonna put in a cross. So if we look at it and it looks good. Space, close it, so a bit of text. Then I'm gonna format the log number into it. Put a comma between everything, that's what I've missed. Put the comma there. Keep doing the brackets and you'll see it turns up. So we know that works. I'm going to reopen the concat, put another comma and add another bit of text. So we're going to do open the speech bubble, space, of, then I'm going to add another thing, comma, format. And I want to put in total target, put the commas in. I can see that I've missed something, which is it needs a space after of. There you go. That's good. Open it back up again comma, open some text, space, completed. Close the brackets. Cool, so you can make that look how you like. And that is it. There you go, there's your report. Now just to show you why that's so good, if we go back here, we're gonna click again on the properties, have a little look at the properties. Now if I just had my target per week, it would just be a number, whereas if I put the CONCAT report in, we get a nice clean report. However, I discovered something on this the other day. If we go back to here and make the log for this empty, doesn't make a lot of sense. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more formula in here, which is gonna be an if statement, and I'll show you how this works. We're gonna go in here, click on formula, and we're gonna call this, this is the one we're actually gonna use, which is gonna be called habit status. And into here, we're going to put if, open brackets, log, is greater than zero, give me the CONCAT report. Otherwise, which is just a comma, 
nothing logged yet. And into there, we could make it look good as well. Let's just check it works by putting a comma on the end. I didn't do it greater than, did I? That's better, greater than is that. <laughs> nice. And into there, we can put a little symbol of, why don't we say clock done. So let's just check that works by putting, there you go. That is why that is so useful. Now, finally, I want to add to this system a way of uh, guaranteeing that you know the last time you logged something. So to do that, you're gonna to wanna to do one of two things. We're going to add a new column and we're gonna go down to the advanced section and we're gonna add last edited time. Pop that in and you can rename that actually to last updated if you want, which just makes it nice and clean. There you go, so that's the first section. What that means is that we can then use that information to do another concat formula to report on the last time that it was reported. So you'll see in my habit card report on the previous one I've made, you can make it look a bit like that. And this bit of text here, 1st of September, is taken from this data. Next, then we add a new column. Let's add in one more formula. And this is going to be last logged. So we're going to do concat. We're going to say last logged as text, comma. Then we're going to do format date. There it is. We're going to select the date which was last updated. And we want to do that as dd mmmm. There you go. Last logged on the 1st of September. You'll see it's not really looking right and that's because I need to go into here, put a little space. And again, if you wanna make it look nice, you can do that by using the emojis and symbols, uh, which is quite nice, like that. Now, all you've gotta do is go back to your habit report, go to properties, hide the concat report that you might've still got in there and have the status, and we want last logged. We need to hide the target per week. And there you go, your full reporting view. All that's left to do now is link it into your main system. And that's really simple. Let's do it. We're gonna go back to the main page. You can now cover your system menu up. And we're gonna put in here a really simple thing. Forward slash H3 as a heading. And we're gonna call it capture. Now I'm gonna do forward slash col which will give me colors. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and give it a blue background, make it look how you like. Then we're gonna do forward slash linked and a linked view of a database. Now the reason we're doing this is ultimately we're going to be able to bring lots of different database things into here on the dashboard in one place. But the first one we want is we wanna take my habits and you can pick what you want. I just wanna click that habit reports view and there it is. I can rename it as a view log habits and again if you wanted to you could do your old view i need to get better at doing that of the symbols and there you go if you wanted to you could even hide the database title if you didn't want to see it it's up to you uh, but there you go that is it in the home screen simple as you like now the final thing you might like to do in your system is link uh, your habits to a goal that's what I've done here. Uh, and that is a classic thing, right? You wanna link it back, reverse engineer it, as we talked about in the very first part of this process on habit tracking, uh, to what you're trying to achieve in the first place. Uh, it's very positive. You can see your progress and you know what you're working towards in that thing. So the way I've done that is simply create, uh, in my system, a goals database. So let's do that now. There's obviously loads more we can do with this, but you can see here for each goal I have related milestones, projects which go into the project system and habits when it was created and if I've achieved it. And obviously all of the uh, projects stuff here, interesting stuff, is for another video build. So if we skip back to uh, the system that we have been building, all we're gonna wanna do here is just do a forward slash database, full page, I'm gonna call it my goals, label here, goal, call this my goals. And we're gonna turn this one into a select 
and I would like to call this year. And we can just start to set up a system for the years that they're in. I'm not going to go into loads of detail here, but you get the idea. And why don't we call this one become fitter than last year. <laughs> Fine, you get the idea. That's all I'm going to do for now. We can obviously make it look nice, a target, a cover, lovely. Now, all we're going to need to do is simply just pop our goals into the systems folder. So it's part of it. We want to add a new column. We're going to go to relation and link it to my habits. I would like to see that relation in both properties and we're going to call this one related goals. So it's showing in both. Obviously, if it was here, it wouldn't show in the other, but we're going to do it and link it to my habits with no limits. And now a limit is a new thing where you can limit it only to link to one habit, one page, or have no limit. Quite useful in certain instances, but we don't need it here. Add the relation, and that's kind of it. You can do the same thing, create a goals template if you want. Now what's really cool about this is we can go into our habit tracker, we see our related goals, and you can click through and link it to a specific goal. Why is that cool? Well, you might just want in your reporting view to select your properties and let those related goals appear so you can see that what they're linked to. You probably have to do that now in each view that you want to see it because they are treated separately. We're just going to do that by clicking on properties and making sure we can see related goals. And there you go. So that is our habit tracker build. We're going to go further with it and integrate it into some other elements of our simplified Notion setup. And next you can go further with your personal productivity journey by checking out my full goal setting video here or discover the best ways Notion can organize your tasks and projects for you here. It would be great if you left a comment and a like. Awesome if you subscribed if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.